Good morning, guys. Dude, the weather is actually really nice. We've been having lots of rain and thunderstorms lately. Did not think today was gonna be very good, but woke up, clear skies, beautiful sunrise. Let's get after it. We are off to see the Dixie, the wonderful Dixie diver. Yeah, that wasn't very good. I'm trying to sing like Chandler, not really working out for me. Oh, but the roof looks really cool. Everybody's always commenting. They're like, yo, your roof looks pretty crazy. There's a company in Miami. It's called Exotic Customs with a Z. Go look them up on Instagram. That's who did my headliner. It's fiber optics, little tiny fiber optics, kind of like the Rolls Royce roofs. They put all these little optics in your, in your roof and it looks pretty crazy, especially in these videos. It looks badass, right? I love it. Anyways, so today is gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully. The weather looks somewhat decent. Dude, last time we did a dive last week it was fun, it was, it, was, it was a cool dive for sure. The first dive that we did was a very deep dive. It was 110 feet. It was called the Tenneco Towers Oil Rig. So back in the day, 1985, they sunk these uh, oil rigs out in 100 feet of water in Fort Lauderdale. So we dove those last week. It was really cool. Lots of big structures, lots of fish on everything. Um, found a couple huge green moray eels that were following me around all the structures and stuff. but. It was kind of a whatever video. The visibility that day was terrible. It was maybe like 20 feet, 15 feet. It was garbage. There were sharks following us the entire time. And it was obviously really hard to see everything. So we had to really keep track of everything. It was, it was a pain in the ass. Alex saw a big sea turtle. That was cool. Um, some more other structures. We got a, like another cool shot of me like sitting on top of the wreck. That was pretty decent. We didn't get to shoot anything. We thought we were going to... We did a three tank dive and we thought we were gonna have plenty of time to shoot something awesome, but dude, the whole dive, we barely shot anything. Like, I think Alex got a hogfish and yeah, I didn't come up with anything. So it wasn't really, it was it was a cool dive visually, but as far as like seeing really cool things, not, nothing really that cool happened. So we didn't end up making a video. We're just gonna put it in this video for you guys so you guys can see. So today is lionfish hunting. Lionfish are not supposed to be here. Lionfish are an invasive fish down here. 
They eat all of our little reef fish, tangs, and damsels, and all gobies. They eat everything. If it fits in their mouth, the lionfish is going to eat it. So they're devastating our reefs, which sucks because all of our little beautiful reef fish normally and shrimp and all that other stuff, they eat everything and they're all over the place. Lately, we've been catching less, which is great. Hopefully we catch a lot today, but lately we have been catching less, so we are doing our part, at least over here. I feel like they're moving a little bit deeper, so it's getting a little bit harder to find them. But today we're going out there. It's a lionfish derby today. Everybody that signed up, Literally, the goal today is whoever catches the most, catches the biggest, catches the smallest. There's a bunch of little categories, and then we're going to win some prizes, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, we catch a lot of lionfish today. Hopefully, the visibility isn't crap, because look at this. I know it looks nice in my backyard this morning, but this is how Florida has been for the last two weeks, week and a half, at least. Like, just cloudy, rainy. It's been absolutely so even when I was at Chandler's the other day, it was nice when I got there and it was thunderstorming and raining like crazy when I left. But I don't know, it should still be a nice day. Let's hope for some visibility. Let's hope for lots of lionfish. We gotta go over to Dixie right now. I gotta check the nitrox, get the tanks, meet up with Alex, grab a couple things I need for the hunt, and then we'll get over to the boat. So let's get to it. Ooh. Fancy. Cheers.
Crap. Mm. Bro. Why was it so cold? It was Fucking freezing. I don't even want to dive again. <laughs> Seriously. I, I was down there like that sucks. Dude. I got a hot fish. Saw some sea turtles. It was a good dive. That was a Nassau group, right? What was it? I don't know, but it was a Nassau. No? It was big. Yeah, it was huge. Huge. I don't know what it was, but we're waiting on Lady Go Diver to pick us up. And then I think we're just going to chill. Because it was really cold down there. It was like not enjoyable. I was shivering the whole time. I got used to it eventually, but... Ah, oh, dude. Oh, that's crap. First down there, I was actually like kind of annoyed. Yeah, so was I. I was like, dude, this is not freaking fun right now. But, oh well, wait for a lady to go diver to get over here. Get back on that boat. All right, guys, so you always want me to do a catch and cook. And I haven't done it yet, so I'm doing it right now, okay? So check this out. So we went and got our beautiful hogfish filleted. My buddy over at the fish market next to my shop, Pops Fish Market, he did it for me. Just a lot easier. I didn't have to do it myself and mess up that fish. You can see where I shot it right there. That's where the hole is. So what we're going to be doing is we're just getting it all ready on these little tin foil packets and I'm gonna throw it, boom, over there on my grill. So, we've got potatoes, we've got some onions, peppers, got some lemon for the top of it, we even got some shrimp to throw in there, got some of this new banging seasoning, whatever the heck this is called. My buddy said it's amazing, so that's what we're trying. So we're gonna get all this together and throw it on the grill. All right, so you put the potatoes down, a little bit of olive oil, Okay, seasoning, salt, pepper. Oops, I did that backwards. Pepper, salt. <laughs> All right, then season the fish. Put that right on top. I got some big old colossal shrimp I'm gonna throw on top of there too. Then the veggies, then the lemon. Booyah. Then we're gonna package it all up into little pouches and then boom, on the grill. Woo! Dude, look how freaking good that looks. Oh my God. I can't wait to eat this. This is going to be incredible. Put some onions down there. Got the peppers. Got the lemon right now. Woo! Bingo, bango. All right, so now we're going to go get the grill started. And then once it gets to about 400 degrees, we're going to keep it at 400. And then you're going to cook these puppies for about 12, 13 minutes. About maybe a little bit longer. We'll test it and see how it all looks in there. But normally that's about how long it takes. There we go, look at that. Ooh, it is gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go inside and eat this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, cute dog. Totally forgot to do an outro, my bad. So, yeah, that last dive went, went well. We lost Alex as soon as we went down there. Alex and the other camera girl, they like went off and did their own thing, so me and homie, Israel, we went and Saw a couple sea turtles, not a whole lot to see. The visibility was crap, dude. As soon as we got down, that thermal change was insane. I think uh, it got all the way down to 59 degrees when we were down there. So it was just insane cold, especially for me, man. I hate the cold and 59 degree water is not fun at all. Like, right, little Rich? Not fun. So that is it. Uh, the derby continues on tomorrow. I have to work and then go to Tampa, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. But I will see you guys at Crockfest, hopefully. Yes, Crockfest, Saturday, June 26th, this week, this weekend. Be there or be square. All right, till next time, guys. You're awesome.